Okay, this question, we've got question two. We've got two graphs shown to us. Now, always with these type of questions, when they show you a graph, it's really important you engage with the graph. There's something about the graph that will help you with the question. Here's this curve here, which I'm going to um, just highlight in green. That one like that. And the other curve, I'll highlight that in blue, is this one here. Now the curves cross, they intersect at C, and the y-intercepts of the of the two graphs are at A and B respectively. The figure shows the, the following curves which cross the y-axis at A and B. Find the exact length of AB. So you want to find this length here. So all you've got to do is know the y-value of A and know the y-value of B and take them away from each other. So this is really straightforward. So what you've got to do is substitute x is equal to 0 into the equation y is 3 add 2 e to the x and when you do that you get y is equal to uh, 5 and you substitute x is equal to 0 into the equation y is equal to e to the x add 2 and you would get that y is equal to e squared. So the exact length therefore, the length is therefore the heights taken away so it's e squared subtract 5. And it says leave your answer in exact form, and hence you should leave your answer like that in exact form and not try and decimalise it. Now just to double check, that's actually a positive number. That is worthwhile doing. Don't write this down. But e squared take away 5 actually is a positive number, which you'd expect because you'd want it to be positive. You'd want it to be a length. So obviously it couldn't be a negative answer. So that gives you some comfort it's the right answer. Now the two curves intersect at point C. Find an expression for the x coordinate of C and show that the y coordinate is as follows. Okay, so uh, quite uh, so we've got to solve these two equations together. So we're trying to solve the equations y is equal to e to the three plus two e to the x and y is equal to e to the x add uh, two. Okay, what I would do is notice that this equation, this second equation here. I can clearly write that as y is equal to e to the x, e to the 2. Because e to the x times e to the 2 is e to the x add 2. When the base is the same, you can add the indices. So that's a useful thing to do there. So what I could do is uh, I could therefore make e to the x um the subject of this equation, so e to the x would be equal to y divided by e squared, okay? And I could substitute this into equation one. So that's equation one, that might be equation two, and I could call this equation three. So sub three into uh, equation one. And so what I could do is I could therefore uh, substitute that in, so I would get that y is equal to 3 plus 2 and y over e squared, like that. So y is equal to 3 plus 2y over e squared. Multiply everything through by e squared. e squared y equals 3e e squared plus 2y. And let's bring uh, the y uh, the y coordinates together. So I want everything with y on one side and everything not with y on the other. So subtract 2y from both sides e squared y subtract 2y is equal to 3e squared and then uh, factorize y e squared take away 2 is 3e squared and y is equal to 3e squared over e squared take away 2 and that is what I was asked to show show that the y ordinate is equal to that it did ask for an expression for the x uh, ordinate. So it asks for an expression for the x ordinate. So maybe what I should have done, actually, I jumped a little bit ahead here. I did something a tiny bit silly here. Uh, what I should have done is I should have realized that both equations um, were equal to y. So I could have made them equal to each other straight away. So that might have been an easier route to solve. So I would have said 3 plus 2 e to the x is equal to e to the x add 2. I would have then um, written that as 3 plus 2 e to the x is equal to e to the x e to the 2 like I did before. Get everything with e to the x on one side so 2 e to the x subtract e to the x e to the 2 is equal to negative 3 and then I could have factorised e to the x so I would have got 2 subtract e squared 
is equal to negative 3. e to the x is equal to negative 3 over 2 subtract e squared. I could have rewritten that as 3 over e squared subtract uh, 2, just multiplying top and bottom uh, by uh, negative 1. So that's e to the x. And it asked for the expression for the x ordinate, so I could have said, therefore, x is the logarithm of this, 3 over uh, the, natural log the natural logarithm of 3 over e squared subtract 2, and I would be done in that regard.